What is up, my squirtle lights of desire king? Welcome you back to more Let's Play Destiny 2. In the last episode, we had a good look at the Lawless Frontier lore, learning about our barren friends. Uh, well, not friends, actually. Enemies, and they're dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but in this episode, we are back here in the tower. And um, after taking down Aldrin, we received this pursuit, and I'd like to show you guys really quickly... Because we have now recovered the Ace of Spades, we have Cade's Will, which we need to take the Broken Spades, uh, Broken Ace of Spades to Banshee, which we will be doing just that first thing. We also have a couple other people to talk to, and this entire episode is actually going to just consist of us being here in the tower before we head on over to the Tangled Shore and begin all of that nonsense. You did it. Ace is yours now. I'm glad. Cade would be glad too. But Ace, oof, Ace is in rough shape. Ain't seen this kind of corrosion since, since, can't remember. Anyhow, Cade would have kept spare parts in his own personal loot stashes. Yours too now, by rights. Drag him down, bring me the parts. We'll get this piece burning in. Yes, sir. And when Banshee is saying that it is ours by rights, it's because of the Vanguard Darren. I'd like to explain this really quick. So in Cade's will, whoever took whoever took him down, whoever killed him, gets to replace him as the Hunter Vanguard. Well, obviously Aldrin did that, but then we killed Aldrin. Now, that doesn't necessarily make us the Hunter Vanguard because we're not a hunter, first of all. But even if we were, we probably would not be taking up the Vanguard position because we have other important things to do. So... We still do have ownership of all of Cade's things, however, though. So, uh, that includes, obviously, his gun, his caches, all those sorts of things. Because that's just the way Cade wanted it. So let's talk to Zavala now. I hope you're happy now. Do not think for a moment that I shed a tear over Aldrin's death. In another life, I would have killed him myself. But we are guardians. One life is nothing when weighed against the lives of an entire people on the very precipice of extinction. When you pursue vengeance into a foreign dominion, you put all of those lives at risk. The death of Aldrin Sav will have its consequences. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but the day will come. I hope we will survive it. Come on, Zavala. There's so many other freaking guardians around. I mean, do you see this place? It's booming with activity. They all can handle this while I take care of that. You're just being a baby. Okay, so... I'm actually gonna... Real quick, let me see. Am I, so I'm level 49 right now. Gosh dang, I'm so close to level cap. So freaking close, it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna talk to you real quick, and I'm gonna pick up some bounties along the way, because we actually could use some of these. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna take all that. And let's see also if we have anything of use in the Postmaster really quickly. Checking now. And it doesn't really look like it. I mean, I know I got a Pulse Rifle during the fight against the Voice of Ribbon, which is that one. I guess I'll take that. I'll take that as well. So we'll get all that. And then we need to go talk to, if I'm not mistaken, we need to go talk to Ikora. Um, but there, there's some other people we need to talk to as well. Um in this one. So like I said, this entire episode is basically just going to consist of us in the tower. Um, I do want to point some other things out as well once we are done speaking to everybody. So let's say hi to Ikora real quick and tell her the good news. I realized the other day Cade may have been my healthiest relationship. My hidden agents I must keep at a distance. Zavala and I rarely see eye to eye anymore. My ghost and I, it's complicated. And Osiris, you know that story. As for you, I have only ever been a supporting character in your story. But Kate was just... My friend. My ridiculous, funny, constant friend. If we don't fight for our friends, what are we fighting for? What I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And thank you. Would have done it either way. Thank you, Ikora. 
<sighs> so we need to return to Petra, which we will not, like I said, we'll not be doing in this episode. I'm going to equip this thing really quickly. This is our first legendary piece of gear. Now, you can actually get this bond from drops at any time. Um, and it's always going to have these exact perks. These will never change. This is, this is unfortunately a completely static piece of armor. But, of course, it can. you can have a mod fitted into it, which is something that we'll be going over in due time. We'll talk about mods. Um, it also can be masterworked as well, which is another thing that we'll be going over in due time. Although, I don't want to go over into it too immediately because... By the time this video comes out, I'm pretty sure Shadow Keep's already going to be out, and everything will have changed at that point. So, I'm going to save that discussion for another time. But for now, I want to head under here real quick, and there's actually not going to be anything back here. But what used to be back here was a man known as the Drifter. Now, the Drifter is the... We've, we've, we've kind of sort of... I think we've sort of kind of mentioned him just a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe we haven't really mentioned him yet, but... He is the leader of a game mode that is known as Gambit, and we'll go to the director, and I can actually show you this really quickly. So if we head on down here to the bottom, we have Gambit, and Gambit is situated right here. We'll talk about the everything else in this director in a minute, but uh, Gambit is a PvEVP game mode. It is two teams of four, basically racing to kill as many enemies as possible, pick up the moats that they drop, bank the moats, get it to a certain amount, and then spawn a boss, kill the boss, and win. But the caveat, the PvP aspect of it, is that every so often, you can send one of your players from the uh, from your side over to the other team. They will have an overshield, they will have sp uh, wall hacks, and they will have 30 seconds to cause as much havoc as possible, basically being friendlies to the enemies that the other team is trying to kill, while trying to disrupt their disrupt their progress, essentially. And now, the Drifter is situated over here. I am not going to be talking to him, because doing so, at least right now, is going to trigger everything for the second portion of the Annual Pass exp um, expansive content, the DLC content. We have Black Armory to get into first. And he's, I love how he even just waved at me. Uh, we'll get, we have Black Armory to get into first, which we will be doing after we take care of all the remaining of the remaining endgame things here in Forsaken, which there is a lot. Uh, we have the Tangled Shore to go back and explore. We have a whole new area still yet to unlock. And we also have the Ace of Spades to chase down, which we have the quest for now. And we'll be doing that in due time. We also have a lot of lore to cover. So, the next couple of episodes, or few episodes... We are going to, and actually, I can maybe get myself to level 50 with this one right here. Let me see if I can do it. No, oh, we're so freaking close. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, we are in the next few episodes, we're going to be taking care of everything that there is to do in the Tangled Shore, whether it's going over the Lost Sectors, whether it's going over the new public events can, that can be done in that area. There's some new strikes that can be done there as well. All of those different little things that can be done. Those will take a few episodes to do. And then we're going to be jumping on into some lore for Prince Aldrin. We'll be learning about his backstory a bit more before we move on into... This is a weird loading screen. Before we move on into the Ace of Spades quest line. But the last thing that I want to do in this episode... Well, last two things is... Firstly, to go talk to Amanda Holiday. If you don't remember, Amanda actually had a pretty darn good relationship with Cade. And even though she is not a required person to talk to, she is going to have some dialogue for us if we do so. So we're going to want to make sure that we get that and we can understand where she's coming from in this entire situation. Because Amanda already gets forgotten about enough. I don't think it's really fair. We need to, we need to go say, we need to go say hi to her. Did Petrovenge pull the trigger or was it you? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I, I don't want to know. Neither way, I wasn't going to bring Kate back. I'm just glad you're safe. Anyway, you here for a refit? How can I help you? No, thanks, Amanda. All you got is frickin' green and blue sparrows and green ships, so I don't really need any of that, but appreciate it. Okay, well then, that is it for that. Um, I want to say that Cade's chicken is around here somewhere, but I've actually never really noticed exactly where. Remember the colonel? Remember the colonel from the from the vanilla campaign? I could have sworn he's she's around here somewhere, but... I don't, I honestly don't know where she is. So we're going to head back. And actually, the last thing that we're going to be doing in this episode is we're actually going to be going through my vault real quick. Because I have a bunch of leftover stuff that I can actually start to use as soon as we hit level 50. Um, mostly legendary weapons and armor that I have on my original account. Because I said this before, I originally recorded 
a lot of the content necessarily necessary for the Destiny 2 Forsaken Let's Play months and months ago, but unfortunately wasn't able to keep any of that, so we're doing a do-over this time around. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff that we can use. I got an exotic ship, an exotic sparrow, all sorts of good sparrows like that. Um, I actually don't have the armor in here, but I believe I... All I need is I just need to transfer it over. Um, got some weapons here, exotics, some... Um, I probably don't need to be grabbing everything, obviously. But um, some things that are worth grabbing. I think we can grab Soros Regime here. Um, Dust Rock Blues. Is this, is, this, is this better than the one I have? This is actually way better than the one that I already have. So I'll grab that. And then I'm also going to want the Horror Story because that is at level 600, which is going to give me the biggest boost that I'm going to ever possibly need. Which means that now I can go ahead and delete all of my blue gear. As well as this one because I have absolutely no use for it. So... We're going to be rocking all this sorts of all this gear in the coming episodes, which is going to be exciting. But uh, with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Destiny 2. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.